Okay, good. I'm going to start recording right now. Aha, I'm going to be smarter than the average bear here. With my background. All right, so. Yep, it's recording. Okay. Um, and we'll just go, for, we'll just do this pretty basic. Um, this is, you know, basic essential oils for beginners. So you guys get an idea of what to do with the oils. And that's what good news for you at the end. Okay. So I'm going to have you guys just mute yourself in the corner. Or I, or I can figure out how to mute y'all. Let's see. One minute. There we go. And if someone hops on, I'll say hi to them and hopefully they'll hop on. If not, I'll get this recorded so that I can send them out to them. But we'll talk about just basically what are essential oils because like nobody knew like every they are sold everywhere. There's everybody advertising them, but they are the like if you were to squish that that orange or the lime and you smell it on the skin, you're smelling the essential oil of it. So it's in the rind of like all your citrus plant. And then it can be in the bark, but really what they are for the plant, they're the lifeblood of that plant. They're the helping it protect it from viruses and bacteria. This, that's what they do for the plant, some of what they do inside the plant. So the essential oil definition, highly concentrated compounds found in roots, bark, seeds, flowers, other parts. So you can say in some plants we use this, um, the stems and the roots and the others we use the petals if you are thinking of rose and jasmine, your floral orals, oils. And they, um, they give the plants the aroma, they protect the plant from, like I said, from harsh environments, um, insects, rodents, viruses, bacteria. They, pull, they play a role in protecting um, the plant against all those things. That's the rule inside the plant. So it does about the same for us. So they're biotol, meaning that when I open a bottle, which is, just, that's not the best one for my dog, because I have my dog on my lap who likes to be in these, but this is peppermint. They're aromatic. They're going to diffuse automatically. Is, oh, does this smell good for you? No, it doesn't, because that's really, really intense. That's peppermint, not lavender. Tiny organic molecules that are known quickly to transform into liquid and gas in the room, um, room temperature. Pretty cool. Um, the history, oh my gosh, they go back so far. The Egyptian, Greece, Rome, India, China, France. I have a really cool story about the Bible. So you talked about church, so I have to tell you guys this story. Um, we know that frankincense, myrrh were talked about with baby Jesus, but there's other areas where they talked about frankincense, um, um, spikenard and other oils in the Bible. And some part of the Old Testament where they would, they would not the same exact oils that we have now. They use the resin and they'd burn the resin. We use the resin in other areas too. But it talked about it um, stopping a plague. And I'm sure it was with God's prayer and God saying going out with the frankincense as a smoke went through and helped heal the village and the plague, which is pretty cool. So that's some of the history of oils. And in medicine, we went away from it because there's no money made in uh, big farm. I can't, you know, patent anything natural. Why would you use essential oil to manage your mood? They're safe, they're effective. Generally quick, responsive, simple way to manage our moods. Very effective right now with all that's going on. Oh my goodness, these are my oils that I usually have in my pockets. I have rollers in my pockets at work and so that I apply them to my wrist, I apply them to my neck. Um, just for not just immune support, but for mood management <laughs> um, at work right now. Um, everyday use. So you are just cooking. And so lemon, um, I actually cooked with it with my chicken tonight, lemon, lime, all your citrus ones are really awesome to cook with. And so you can digest them. You could add them in sausage. You can, um, what I want you to do is add a couple of them to water. The citrus ones, if you have lemon or wild orange or grapefruit or one of those citrus ones, one or two drops in water in a glass and then, then take it in. Um, in a plastic bottle, the spray, great, but not to drink because it's gonna help. What they do in your body is help eliminate toxins and the, they're gonna pull the toxins in the plastic and be more in the water. So you don't want to put your essential oils in a uh, plastic and then drink them. 
So they're good for digestion, your hair, your immune system. Um, as I go do dishes later, I'm gonna use, I always use some um, essential oils on my sponge. Very good to clean with, uh, less toxic. Um, very good, we talked about some of that are gonna help with pain, um, allergies, and many discomforts. The health beds, they soothe, well, you guys just saw my, third, my second degree burn. I had a combination of oils and this new thing I found, um, that's this blend I made, which is so powerful um, in healing. This is the little blend I put together for my secondary burn, and it looks great. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't scar because it was pretty painful, but they are so great for skin. Um, big, big issues, small issues. They promote healthy digestion, support our immune function. So in a huge sense, they're going to help and aid in our immune system. Um, great for sleep. They are great for stomach issues. Oh my goodness. And even more. Uh, emotional benefits, they're calming to the body. Um, so we were talking about the one of the samples, if you got a wood oil or one that's called balance, that is very calming. So I'd say on your wrist points or behind your ears. And so wood oils, which meaning cedar wood, Siberian fir, any of the wood, frankincense and myrrh are wood oils. Balance has a whole bunch of wood oils. So it's super calming and not sedating, but very calming to the body. Also, there are some that are uplifting and help with your energy when you need to kind of pick me up. There's some that are soothing. Um, right now, um, they are diffusing these particular essential oils at Vanderbilt, especially in this COVID season, um, just for the freaking stress of the, what's going on in the hospitals right now. Um, they're also uplifting, some that can be very uplifting for your moods. So this is um, how we use them aromatically, topically, that's the deep, root, um, deep blue. And then like I just said, internally, cooking with them or you can put them in water. We're gonna talk about some oil safety here in a minute. Um, aromatherapy essential oils. Okay, there are some great things when it comes to making your own house of cold cleaners and wood. There are so many different ways to use them to cleaning your surfaces. I have a spray bottle over there has some on guard concentrate in it. It has water, some vinegar, and some essential oils, and it cleans better than anything I've ever had. Plus, it's non toxic. And with right now everybody freaking out and using all these toxic things, this is a great way to make yourself not toxic. Matter of fact, I have that diffuser not on. I have to go turn it on, but it's on my counter, and I will go turn it on to keep my own mood and also just kill anything passive. If they're floating in the air, then they aromatize in the air, they're going to kill some of the passive. Um, pathogens in the air and they're safe for all my little puppies um, diffusing them throughout so topically we uh, let's talk about that um, the ones for pain right now so deep blue Colleen have you gotten experience and use that deep blue yet I'm not you have to unmute you wait 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 you're not unmuted wait I, I gotta unmute yourself let's see ask to unmute I don't think I can unmute you. There you can. I unmuted myself. Maybe does that work? Yeah. Yes. Tell me about your experience with Deep Blue. I I really enjoyed it. I have a lot of neck issues because I got a cervical. I think the third and fourth is pinched. So I've I've used it on that. It did definitely work wonders. And I massaged my husband's neck with it, and he really enjoyed that too, as he has, you know, just tension in his neck that he likes, but. It was good for massages too. It, it's not over overwhelming at all, the smell or anything like that, but it did work. It was really good. Yeah, I put it, my husband's shoulder is a little tweaked and I put it on his shoulder and rubbed it in this morning. And he goes, let me just lay here for a few minutes and just um, enjoy the sensation. Now, yeah. sometimes you put it on and, and you have a lot of inflammation in a joint or some area, you want to keep it away from eyes so not on your face right and obviously down below keep it from those areas but it can be intense if you have a lot of inflammation going on so i had somebody who were like um poor ligament it was really intense on her um 
And so we had, if you have an oil that is a little intense on the skin, you, uh, if you don't have any fractionate coconut oil, you can grab, please, I hope you have coconut oil at home. Stop cooking with canola oil. It's horrible for you. No oil is not good for you. Coconut oil and have coconut oil at your house. Cook with that. Anyways, put that on your skin and it will help um, not have a major sensation. Water will just make it worse. Mm -hmm. Water will open up your pores and it will just make it to intensify. So think about that if you put if you put it on and then get in the shower, you're gonna intensify it. So mm -hmm. from yeah. person, So but there are some that are, can be applied uh, right around the temples. I have been dealing with a headache, migraine off and on migraine headache. Um Last couple days, and I was like, really, I wasn't feeling so hot, and I thought, oh my gosh, am I getting COVID? Because I've been exposed, but I am like, wait, I will talk about that. Um, and so, for my discomfort in my head, you know, I totally have different ones to my temples behind me. But one of the ones I love for that works for me, and it's not sitting next to me, it was a way but it's cobite salt. Or frankincense, I could put it on my tongue and put it to the roof of the mouth. And um, that will be instant relief for your head. No, hit me again on the real quick, just, not have, just so it's clean for everybody else who I'm recording it for. So, um, so say we have the breathe or the peppermint. Peppermint, um, one drop equals like 28 cups of peppermint tea. Very, very intense. So we want to put, um, if we do, put it on the chest, which is fine for breathing. Um, for infants or, or even other people, I'm used to my oils, but I would dilute it with a, um, you can get the liquid coconut oil. MTC oil is a great one. And Put it on the skin because peppermint can be tingly but it also feels so good if you're having a hot flash girls peppermint on the back of your neck oh my goodness and then breathe it in um so those are some of the areas now hot oils what it says arms legs bottom of the feet so i was uh doing some protocols i've been doing protocols with me and my husband just prophylactically because i've been so exposed and so we've been getting the hot oils out those are thyme, oregano, on guard, um, clove. Those are all very hot oils. Cinnamon, kashi, some of the hottest oils out there. And so that topically, they must be diluted or you can put them directly on the bottom of the feet. But if they're a child under the age of, um, I'd say nine, then it's, a, it's one to the carrier oil. So whatever carrier oil and on the bottom of the feet. You can do on the spine for the children, but you want to do a whole bunch of um, carrier oil first, and then you can put. But dosage is one to two drops, period. That's all your body will need, and it knows what to do with those chemicals. Um, and peppermint is way studied in everything it does for your body. Ridiculous amount of things it does. There are certain ones we can put on this, the face, like I just said, this is Immortel. This is one I was going to tell you, Colleen, that this is a one that is a blend for skin. This is one of them that I put on for my wound healing. And this is a blend and I, I diluted it. I used half of it somewhere else and I added um, a yarrow and then I added this new thing called, um, um, it's a, I can get it from this owner, but it's olive oil with oxygenated. So it's ozone therapy, which is really good for healing. Like if you went to hyperbaric chambers, that's the same thing. Anyways, I'm, that's what I've been using. I can tell you about that product. I, um, but anyways, it, it, it has a synergy effect with the oils. And so this blend, usually I use it on my face for wrinkles. It's anti-wrinkles, but this blend is a uh, powerful oils, not diluted, but I did dilute it with stuff. Um, and I put it on my knee. I still am putting it on my knee and my skin would just soak it up. And then it's so amazing for the skin. Um, anti-wrinkles. Actually, I've known people that started using this and they had some glaucoma issues and the glaucoma got better. So for the eyes around the eyes, that's Immortel is a blend of uh, really, really amazing oils for the skin. So um, they, they're anti-wrinkle, amazing stuff. I mean, in talking about in the Egyptian day, 
they would use myrrh oil on their face to have amazing skin. So it's been long time used um, for skin. Let's see where I'm at with my slides. Uh, other effective topical applications, a few drops in a warm bath. So, okay, don't do citrus oils. And if you want to add them to your bath, I'm going to say new to this, you want to put them on an Epsom salt and then um, put them on a couple drops on your Epsom salt and then do your bath. And so citrus oils on the skin, they're all photo sensitive and they're not good at like putting your skin and get in the sun. So I don't put, they mixed in with lotions are not so bad, but um, in the bath I've had people and I've tried it myself and it's tingly, not good. The citrus oils um, in the bath. Uh, ones that again are your wood, wood oils, uh, your serenity blend, which is calming to the body, which this was totally empty, but that is amazing in the bath. Um, and you can, again, add them to your lotions and moisturizers and they're going to smell amazing and they're going to go slower absorption into your skin if they're in with a lotion. So let me get to the next slide. Am I in the right one? That's that one, this one. Internal use, so we get to this one, topical use, internal use. We just talked about that. Um, there are veggie cap method where people do take them in a veggie cap. Well, they make a whole bunch of oils in capsule form that I suggest everyone be taking for the immune system, keeping it boosted. Like they have this Copaiba, they have that same essential oil, but they already have it for you kind of diluted in a little gel capsule so you could take it in orally. So when I have a headache, this is one of my take. And this is just my essential oil in a capsule that I can take in. They also have the little beadlets with the on guard. That's what I was going to try to get you, but they are out of, right? We're out of, might be coming back. They have a blend I just want to talk about that is for emotions um, and stress. It's called Adaptive. It's amazing. That's not essential oils though, but this is some herbs and things that help with the, keeping your body calm. One that's been a game changer for my overall pain and feeling is turmeric and turmeric is way studied and can't see with my holographic but they have this is really different turmeric than most people this is a um dual chambered turmeric and so this turmeric is got curcumin which is the powder and the tumoral which is the essential oil all in one and um turmeric is well studied and well known for the amazing, amazing the things it does for your immune system, amazing things it does for your inflammation naturally in your body. They also have people that have like stomach issues. They have the peppermint in just a capsule form if you have stomach issues like me and need to feel better. So they have lots of them already made that. They actually one that helps with appetite control and appetite control gum. I just want to bring that up because this stuff is amazing because I do intermittent fasting and I find that that's helping with my weight loss and my energy. And so to make me not so hungry, I want to go longer and longer because I, you work your way up if you ever do intermittent fasting. And Slim and Sassy is a blend of essential oils in a gum that help with appetite suppressant. And it absolutely works. Um, this is why I have a whole box of them. I usually put them in my pocket work and I used to put them in the pocket work because we don't know when we could eat again. <laughs> Colleen knows, and we're like, you're so busy. You're like, I don't know when I'm gonna get lunch again. So that would be, I would just pop in that kind of gum. It does have xyatol in it. So if people have had um, problems with xyatol, but it's, it's a really cool product. So they have many ways. Um, you can put them with teas, and you could put them with applesauce, you could put them with yogurts, you could make your own sauces. I made low carb pancakes and added the, tangerine, I think it was, to the pancakes this morning. Usually I like wild orange. I'm telling you, wild orange is so good with vanilla. Plain yogurt, plain yogurt, one drop of wild orange and a little vanilla. Um, it's like a creamsicle and yogurt. So you're gonna have to try that with if you have wild orange. It's so yummy. If you grew up and love the creamsicles but you don't want all that sugar, well, you have to find a Greek yogurt that has no sugar in it and then you can sweeten it with stevia or honey. But wild orange and then um, vanilla. Oh, so good. Um, I used to do it as a fruit dip. People would come over just at my fruit dip at parties because I would make this fruit dip 
and this is my thing. I'd actually do cream cheese, Greek yogurt. I sweetened it with stevia because my husband is um, type two. And you use wild orange and then um, vanilla. And I would have it out with fruit. And I mean, everybody loved that dip. It was so yummy of a dip. So you can mix it up. If you do no dairy, you could do a coconut based yogurt or something. And then if you wanted more fat in it, you can do heavy cream or you can do the cream cheese or low fat cream cheese, whatever, you know, you get the GIF. It, it all tastes very, very yummy though. Um, what oil should you start with? This is the great, great news, you guys. Starting tomorrow. So I'm gonna talk about, I don't know if I can get to my screen and show that, but okay, what, what oils to start with? Those are the, the top three major oils that everyone gets, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Because lemon actually does so much for your body. It's just, it's so good for you. And a couple drops in the water, you're helping your liver, you're helping your immune system, you're helping detox. Peppermint, um, it added with deep blue is so amazing. And then lavender for calming everything down and anything skin. If you get bit by something, you're gonna grab lavender. Besides a snake, get your ass to the ER if you're bit by some snake, right? <laughs> but like, or a severe spider. But like if you were stung and you're not anaphylactic, you can grab lavender, I have. Um, so lemon, there's a few different ways to use your lemon essential oil. Um, it, it cleans so well. I want you to try it. Lavender, oh, on the skin, it's so good. It's just so good for everything. And it's good on the dogs too. Taking the Copa Iba now, because I've been dealing with the headaches and I don't want it to come back. Um, peppermint, oh my goodness. So when my kid has an asthma attack, I can use the breathe or I can use peppermint. And peppermint will also, it's helped with my kid with the, it seemed to help almost just, cause it will vasoconstrict some. And so it's so great to add it um, with breathe and put it on the chest. You can put a drop in your mouth, but it's gonna be super intense, super intense. Remember one drop, you can add it. Someone asked me about wanting like peppermint coffee. Well, I would add it to the coffee beans one drop and then brew it. Um, There's some other oils that people just add a drop. Look at Jessie's like, she joins the webinar here. <laughs> um, I have never added the peppermint to my shampoo. I have other um, oils that I add to my shampoo that make your hair grow. So there's some other oils I do. But peppermint, um, I like it with the deep blue. It intensifies and it helps other oils and it works very good as a synergy effect. And peppermint and wild orange smells so good, amazing together. Um, if you're hot, you can put it on the back of your neck and it's going to be cooling to the skin. Actually, up and down the spine is going to help drop your temperature. Peppermint's amazing. So there is this um, ebook doTERRA has. So I can send you guys all the link or you can, I can send you, let, I'm going to see if this will let me minimize the screen and I can go to my website. Let's see. I'm going to, oh, it is, I'm on my website. Okay, this is not gonna tell me on here. There is the website. I am, I don't know if I'm logged in. I have to move this real quick. No. So Colleen, hopefully you've logged into your account, but once the, the best way to get oils from them is to join and get a wholesale account. And great news, I have great news about what happens tomorrow and the next two weeks. Terra is doing a BOGO sale. So they're doing a buy one, get one free all week long. Now they're going to not tell us all the oils. Monday they're going to tell us, um, they are going to let us know that they are going to do a BOGO box. So you can order the box on Monday and it will possibly sell out by the end of the week. You could order that box and you get all the buy one, get one free for the week because they're going to tell us every single day whatever the product is. So like, say you buy this oil, you're gonna get this other oil free. So you can mix and max, say you don't wanna get the whole box, but you just wanna try a couple, then this is a good time to really have your account and buy them that way at a discount. And then, hold on Jazz. And then you will be able to get the BOGOs. I'm kind of excited because there's some oils. Um, I use so many of them, and then I also give them out um, to a lot of people right now so that I have, I love my BOGOs. 
but how to get started I'm going to show you some of the kits. I it, it's like uh, Sam's Club or Costco would cost thirty five dollars, or you can start with um, a kit. And I would all wait till tomorrow and decide what you want to do with the bogos. So enrollment kits. Any questions so far? I should have asked. Questions? You have to unmute yourself. There you go. All right. So what when you um, mix your oils, what, what, what kind of bottles do you buy? You buy them to certain places that you're mixing them or? Oh, oh great, great, great question. So when I make roller balls for our people, um, I'll show yeah. you. Um, let me show you this, uh, the, some of the starter kits for some people since this is being recorded and we're gonna send this to a couple of your people that make it on. So these are some of the ways to keep your weight. You start us paying in the $35. Those are some of the kits that are available that you can get. I have no idea about the BOGO. Um, I will start to clean tomorrow a picture of the BOGO box tomorrow and uh, more info about it. You got the, right? you got the deep blue limit on guard and candy. On guard is your aunt, your uncle has been studying. This is why I got the spray. I use the spray at work. I have so many of these because they're more because the oils are so antiviral, and the hand sanitizer doesn't bother my hand as much as using the other hand sanitizers all the time. But making your own rollers, I'm going to show you that. But anyways, this is some of the ways, the simple solutions, of ways of, um, to get a starter kit. Um, and but under the shop tab, after you get an account, um, if you guys would send me your message, me, Colleen, um, the emails, and I can send you the links directly to uh, the website where you would want to get a starter kit and then whatever bogos tomorrow. But under accessories, you are going to find ways. Oh, you can see people are making their own stuff. Um, 10, there are six pack right here. I just bought these and I made my own rollers. But when I have a bottle that comes empty and I have like a roller, um, I have frankincense in a roller and it's almost empty. I will, I will use that and I'll make a roller ball, but I make sure I put the stickers of all the oils that I'm putting on in that roller um, on there. Now, I didn't do this for other people. Like, I made some really intense ones for your immune system. This is a cute little sticker that I got online. I'll tell you how well they work. But it says immunity because people, there's somebody who asked me and told me they were sick. And um, I said I could send them out. So I have them made. Um, I send them a rollerball. And this is what I'm going to tell them to apply to the bottom of their feet because um, there's this thing called the flu bomb. It's in a... Kalina added you to that live natural community. Once you join you, um, my, my team as a customer, you will um, be placed in that Facebook group and that's a private Facebook group with all these other doTERRA essential users with naturopaths, doctors, nurses. I don't know, there's like 17,000 other people in that group. And so you can, um, if you have a, a question about using an oil on a certain thing, that's a great thing. You can add it in that group or you can search in the top of the group and see what other people are doing. If you reach out to me, I will kind of tell you on my podcast, I will educate and I educate a little bit from this. And then I really will do it in non-compliant language um, to you. But on my podcast or my YouTube channel, I have to be very careful about how I talk about some of the oils. And this one is all reference study guide. So we were just talking about peppermint. So this talks about all the chemical constituents of each of peppermint that's in it. Um, and then things that it helps with analgesic, um, helps reduce the fevers, good for your digestion. It says make sure that you're keeping it away from the face and on the face. We know that please keep uh, peppermint um, away from your eyes. And so, especially with the children three and under, you definitely want to keep it away from the face and not 
particularly their nose, you want to put it on the bottom of their feet. Um, this, this is like three pages of information literally on peppermint and all the studies it has. Oh, see, avoid with people with ventricular fibrillation. Well, usually if someone has ventricular fibrillation, they're in the hospital, I hope. <laughs> As you know, Colleen. But if somebody has arrhythmias um, and has had arrhythmia issues, some peppermint might be that one to put on their chest. Good to see this is good to know. Wow, if you're one, I didn't know this either. So like if you're someone who suffers with a lot of problems with B12 and anemia, um, you don't want to use peppermint so often. And it does interact with some medications, especially ones that people would be on if they had a transplant. Peppermint in large doses, greater than five mLs, that's a lot of freaking peppermint. That is a lot of peppermint and that'd be way too much peppermint I would ever, never, never use, but it would interact with codeine. So this is the, this is the stuff that if you wanna ask me and I can look up for you and all the different studies. Peppermint um, kills um, some viruses and it says HVS1, HSV2. Um, it prevents healthy cells from being infected, both of those type of viruses. So that's kind of cool. That's a herpes virus, if you wanted to know. Um, it blends well with a whole bunch of ones. It, this, is, this is a really cool reference book when I was doing my advanced aromatherapy certification. I kind of got this um, textbook book. So anyways, these are some of the, the on the website, this is what I'm going to tell you, Colleen, you need to get the stickers. I don't know if you did get the stickers, but if somebody, after you get the oils, you need to get the little stickers. You also, if you want a box to put your oils in, you can see that they're on here and the little sample things. This little device, which is temporarily unavailable, is your godsend to making roller balls easier because it's going to be easier to pop off. Deuteras has got a very special device on it so the balls won't fall out and you pop it off and it will be easier. This little device, which is out of stock right now, I have mine, are really helpful when you're making your own roller. Um, and then these are, if you were to take, like if you wanna take some oils with you, but you didn't wanna take all the big ones, you could put some in this little keychain and have a whole, a whole bunch of them with you, which is what I'm kind of doing with work. Um, and I know that they're out of these little sprays, which you clean your house with, because everybody loves them. So hopefully they will be back out. This is sold out. So I'm hoping that they'll restock on those in time. Um, they have a program. Let me just talk about that real quick, where you can um, be on a monthly program, which is uh, you can order and put a one-time monthly order in and earn product points, and you start earning at 10%. You get your shipping in back in points. So if I hit the shop tab, you can see I have mine here it already processed. It's telling you um, the ninth. Um, it tells you my points and the PV to total. But if, you, if I were to go and edit this, I've been with them a long time. So I have in remaining points like um, Colleen this month, if you spend $150, you guys get $50 of product points. So when you log in, I don't know if it will show up this month, but maybe next month when you log into your account, and set, especially when you set up your loyalty ward, you will see that you will have 50 PV in your account. And then each time it will accumulate at 10% until you start earning at 30%. And then when you turn around and use them, I just did a while back and it, I would just, it would tell me what I could use it on, like they'll drop down like this and then it will um, charge me $3 if I'm using it. I would like to save up my points and buy some of the expensive oils. That is how I've bought in some of my expensive oils. If you go to the essential oils, single oils, they're gonna be in, in here alphabetically for you. And their oils are very unique. And if you wanna know everything about why they're so unique compared to everybody else, and they have set the standard above everybody else, they're tested 54 times. Just Ridiculous. They work directly with the harvesters, directly with the instillers 
So they're tested all the way through the process. If it does not meet their quality, they will not sell it. So that's why I see, you'll see some of them possibly sold out. They care about the quality of the essential oil. The higher quality of essential oil, the more effective it is. There are so many essential oils that are horribly out there saying whatever in the bottle, but they're not really what they are in the bottle. Um, for instance, like this really expensive blue tansy, which I don't use that often. You can see that there, the retail price is very expensive and you join this it's cheaper, but I saved my points and I bought it with my points when I finally decided to get it. Um, some oils I used on a consistent basis and those are some of the blends. So you wanna go to the essential oil section and we're gonna go to priority blends. Some of their blends are the most amazing blends out there and really, really, so I'm gonna talk about just a few of these. The adaptive line is all for stress, anxiety, and studied. And I have nurses putting that on other nurses right now in the hospital setting to just aid with what's going on. Um, another one when it comes to sore muscles um, and inflammation, I love, love, love this Aroma Touch blend. I wish it wasn't a roller. It's one I like to put in a roller, and I can add it with lemongrass or something like that. I also love as. Um, but it's not in a roller, but I love this oil. Some of these like this with the light tap, um, those are your kid ones that are just made for kids. So they're already very, very safe for children. And so you see that they're already in a little roller. We have a blend just for women and PMS and hormones. And then we have a whole bunch just for digestion. We have all our deep blue and with deep blue it has its own little section. We'll talk about it. And then they have a whole bunch. I, I sent you guys also, some of you guys balance. Balance is when I tell everyone should almost use every day that it's just gonna help ground you and keep you from being those really stressed out. It's a great blend. Breathe is the other one that everybody loves right now um, for everything it does. It open, helps open up your airways. And plus they have all these emotional oils that help with your emotions. And they have it broken down so you can kind of, by the name, know what to use them for. Cheer if you need to be cheered up. Console if you need to be consoled. Deep blue is for your pain and um, joints and things like that. They have ones. This particular essential oil blend called Hope and the proceeds go to the Stop Human Trafficking. Um, as you can see, there's no PD, meaning um, I wouldn't get any commission from it or nobody gets commission from it literally all of the profits of this blend which smells a freaking amazing goes to stop human trafficking um they have the on guard like i just told you i wanted you to take beadlets every day which keeps your immune system strong and um, hopefully they'll be back in stock in that soon they do have on guard this way though. This is the way I've been taking it right now in the gel capsules, which is different than the beadless because if you look at this, this is a little bit, um, it has a little bit more essential oils in it than, and I haven't been taking them every day. I, I take that back. I take them every other day or so because of some of the oils in here that actually will kill some of the bacteria in my gut. So oregano being one of those really hot oils that you do want to have that is well-known study that is, antimicrobial and antiviral. Black pepper, oregano, melissa, they have those three oils added along with everything that's in your on guard. So this is a really cool product. Um, and on the back, if there's been studies, they do so much studies. If there's um, a study on it, there's gonna be more information down here. So for instance, say, I know that they have lots of studies on the adaptive and uh, other like they have um, supplements in their vitality pack and their vitamins. And there are some studies that have been done. And so if you were to look at just say just one of their supplements to try it, which their vitamin pack is a money back guarantee. If you don't feel better, you can literally send the bottles back and they'll give you the money back. But anyways, there's gonna be information more on the bottom of any of the studies that have been done in-house and out of the house when it comes to um, some of their, like they have specialty supplements. I was talking about the adaptive, the Cobaiba. Um, this one is a supplement just for pain. Your sleep issues, one to boost your energy. 
um, tries to help with your seasonal threats, the turmeric I was talking about, and these yarrow complex, which I was taking, it helps with the cellular healing. And I also have a product to help with. I'm giving you guys way too much information. I apologize, way too much information about um, the, there's a massive amount of products. The big thing is that you want, I have no ideas what tomorrow's BOGO is gonna be. Um, and the BOGO box, meaning you buy one oil, get one free, it's gonna happen all week. And um, how to get started, which is some of those kits. And I can send people pictures and information about some of the kits or the easiest ways to get started. Any questions? If not, I want to talk about business. Any questions? Oh, you got to unmute you again. There we go. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I, gotta, I think I, I think I need to get on the website and um, and search some more. But yes, <laughs> the website and then. Don't do anything because of, of all this week and next week they're doing buy one get one freeze, which is I'm, okay. I'm, I'm super excited that that will show up. It will be up here, kind of telling you what it is. Um, also, there's tons of education up here. So, mm -hmm. like, that book, um, if, if you go to Discover, you can. I literally that PowerPoint I did was literally from here. Um, so this is other stories. And the books and more the education they have. Uh -huh. this this to, uh, right here, co impact sourcing, their sourcing model. This is about how they, and there's all the information. And literally, go research oils and their co impact sourcing model of how they give back and what are they doing to these countries, Brazil, Bulgaria. This is where we get our veterinarian from Haiti. So that that one um, thing that you sent me, it's like it's got the blue and it's got I think it's got lavender and lemon and peppermint maybe all three in there. Yeah. Was that like a kit that somebody could start with that you could buy? Yes, that is a kit. Let me show you. Um, that is the. And then they can add whatever BOGO it is this week, which is pretty cool. I have no idea. I'm kind of excited about mm -hmm. I, I a simple solution kit. Your lemon, your on guard, and your serenity. That is a simple solution starter kit. Okay. And then people can add. And what you want me to do is I need to send you the, the link to a particular website. With them. And I can send okay. them the, this directly too. Uh, if you want to, I will send them the video so they can watch. I am just going to. You want me to go one more time? Part of you, Kara. I'm kind of. You're breaking up a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the business side of Dutera. Does everyone okay with that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, very, very simple. So I wouldn't have, I, I, I literally have this as a business right now and I feel like as a business because of the, everything that's been going on right now, but it's also great to have a nice source of side income. And I always believe in having more than one stream of income of um, multiple things. And they are, um, have been around since um, 2008. And they are hitting a billion dollars in revenue. They're growing internationally. There's a lot of people in the U.S. have never even heard of them. So I come across that all the time. I just um, shared with somebody who's never heard of them before. And I'm trying to show you more about the business part of it. Um, the executive team, they are such amazing things. Matter of fact, if anybody wants to share just in their conventional Yeah. I'm going to have to leave since y'all are talking about the business side. I've got to go somewhere. I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay. So, go ahead. Uh, David Sterling is the CEO. All the different amazing owners have really, pulled, they pulled all their money. 
so they have no outside investors in when it comes to telling them how, how to structure the business. Uh -huh. I'm going to hit um, I'm going to pause.